Hello friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn a simple mental math multiplication trick to easily multiply any numbers using the base 10. Let's take a look at our first example. Let's try calculating 12 times 13. The first step in this mental math trick is to take a look at the base, which is 10. This base will be the foundation of this trick. Now what we're going to do is find the difference from this base for each of our numbers. In this case, for 12, the difference from 10 is 2. That means 12 is 2 above 10. And for 13, it is 3 above 10, so 3 is the difference. Now what we have to do is either add the 13 to the 2 or 12 to the 3. It's sort of like a cross addition, but you can do either one and it still results in the same answer, which is 15. So 15 is the first part of our answer. The way that we get the second part of our answer is by taking these two numbers we have at the top, the differences, 2 and 3, and multiplying them together. In this case, we have 2 times 3, which is 6, and 6 is the last part of our answer. This means that 12 times 13 is 156, and that is the answer. Let's take a look at our next problem. 15 times 17. This one, again, it's going to be a little different, but hopefully you'd be able to see how this works. Again, the first step is to calculate the differences of both of these numbers from the base 10. So in this case, we have 15, which is 5 above 10, so it's 5, and 17, which is 7 above 10, so we write 7. Now that we have both of these numbers, we again have to do the same thing, either 17 plus 5 or 15 plus 7. In this case, both of these answers will result in the same thing. In this case, 22. But remember that we actually have to write 22 with a zero after it. That way, it'll make the next part a lot easier to do in your head. So, let's say we have 220. The next part is to multiply these two differences, which is 5 and 7. So 5 times 7 is 35. And now we can safely do 220 plus 35 equals to 255. And so that is the answer. Let's take a look at our third problem. 9 times 14. Now, 9 times 14 is going to be a little different, and here's why. Because the difference of 9 from 10 is 1 below, it's minus 1, because 10 minus 1 is 9. So, above 9, we will write minus 1, and for 14, we're going to write plus 4, because 14 is 4 above 10. Now that we have our two numbers, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same trick that we just did. Either we have 14 minus 1, or we have 9 plus 4. In both cases, the results will be the same, which is 13. But in this scenario, and to be fair, this is more a general thing for these, but it will be helpful not to write these as 13, but rather as 130. And the reason for this is something we will now see, because the next part of this is going to be a little different. Because minus 1 is a negative number and 4 is a positive, if we do negative 1 times 4, the second part of our problem, we will result with negative 4. So, what we actually have to do now is subtract 4 from 130. So, 130 minus 4 is 126. And that is the answer. Let's take a look at our last problem. 9 times 8. Now, 
this one for this one may be a bit of an easier one to do normally but it's best that we still look at how this can be done using this method so let's take a look at how we can solve it so again the first part is to check the differences from 10. in this case because 9 and 8 are both below 10 these differences will have to be negative so in this case 9 is 1 below 10, so that means we write negative 1, and 8 is 2 below 10, so that means we write it as negative 2. Now that we do this, we do the same thing that we just did, 8 minus 1, or we will have 9 minus 2. Obviously, in both of these scenarios, again, the answer is the same, 7, and that's the first part of the answer. And the second part of the answer, in this case, relies on multiplying these two parts, negative 1 and negative 2. Now, as you may know, a negative times a negative is a positive. This means that negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. And that means that we should just put a 2 at the end, and there we have our answer. 9 times 8 is equal to 72. Now that you understand how to do this mental math trick involving multiplication through bases, it's time for some homework. Try to calculate 16 times 12, 9 times 6, and 18 times 13 using this mental math trick. Please feel free to post your comments in the comment section below, and for your convenience, the answers to these problems will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching! If you liked my videos, then make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos whenever I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.